Hello, everyone. I'm Ki Chun Joo from Hanyang University in Seoul, Korea. It's my honor to announce my research topic in this symposium. Today, I'm going to present about integration of multiple vehicle model with an interacting multiple model filter for big localization. This is the contents of my presentation. First, I'm going to briefly introduce about my research background and objective, and then I'll explain the localization, <coughs> localization system architecture and multiple vehicle model with interacting multiple model structure. Finally, I'll show the simulation and experiments result and conclude my presentation. The localization system that provides the vehicle position is an essential part a component for some ITS applications, such as intersection safety application, collision warning and avoidance system, and automatic emergency call system. The GPS-based localization system is widely used for these ITS application. However, in urban area, this GPS-based localization system can be suffered from GPS outage or multi-pass error. Therefore, this system should be aided by sensor fusion technology. Nowadays, the GPS and map database matching algorithm is used for the navigation system. However, since this simple algorithm is hard to provide the accurate and reliable position information, it is not suitable for the ITS application. Therefore, additional sensor candidates, such as inertial navigation system, vehicle sensors, camera, or range sensors proposed for the information fusion algorithm. In this project, we are focused on the integration of GPS and vehicle sensors. From now on, I'll explain the system architecture of localization system. The localization system composed of two parts, the sensor part and localization algorithm part. The sensor part is composed of vehicle sensors and GPS. Vehicle sensors provide the vehicle velocity, steering angle, and yaw rate to the fusion algorithm. And GPS also provide the position and velocity and heading angle information to the fusion algorithm. By using these sensor measurements, the fusion algorithm estimates the position and heading angle. And in this project, the interacting multiple model filter is used for the main fusion algorithm. Nowadays, the electric stability control system is an essential part of vehicle safety. And sensors of ESC is composed of steering angle sensor and your ray sensor and wheel speed sensors. And these sensor components are interconnected by in vehicle network. The name is CAN. Therefore, without additional sensor installation, the localization system can easily obtain the vehicle motion information from this in vehicle network. From now on, I'm going to introduce the multiple vehicle model that are composed of kinematic and dynamic vehicle model. This figure shows the kinematic relationship of vehicle model. As you can see in this figure, the kinematic vehicle model is two degree of freedom bicycle model. And this model has an assumption that the tire slip angle is zero. Therefore, the orientation of velocity and steering angle are always the same. And this characteristic is reasonable for the low speed motion. And from this kinematic relationship, we can derive the kinematic model equation like this. And this figure represents the free body diagram of dynamic vehicle model. As you can see in this figure, the dynamic vehicle model also two degree of freedom bicycle model. However, in contrast to the kinematic vehicle model, uh, this model has an assumption that the tire slip angle 
that is angle between the orientation of tire and orientation of velocity is proportional to the lateral tire force. And this characteristic is reasonable for the normal driving condition. And from this dynamic relationship, we can derive the dynamic model equation like this. For the kinematic model, uh, the, since the tire slip angle is not constant, it is reasonable for the low speed condition, such as intersection or heavy traffic condition. In contrast to the kinematic model, the dynamic model has an assumption that tire slip angle is proportional to the lateral force. Therefore, it is reasonable for the normal traffic condition or highway. The information fusion algorithm selectively uses these two kinds of algorithms depending on the driving condition. From now on, I will introduce the interacting multi multiple model filter structure. Uh, at first, I'm going to briefly introduce the concept of single model filter. The single model filter consists of three parts. The prediction with the vehicle model, and measurement with the GPS receiver, and update algorithm. At the prediction step, the vehicle position is predicted by vehicle model. And at the measurement step, the position is measured by GPS receiver. And this position information can be represented by probabilistic density function. By mixing these two PDF, we can obtain more precise position information. Multiple vehicle model, uh, model filter also predict the vehicle position by vehicle model. The different thing is that the multiple model is used for the predicting the position. By weighting these two models PDF depending on the driving condition, we can obtain uh, very precise position information for several driving condition. Uh, this block diagram shows the process of interacting multiple model filter. The process is composed of four steps. The first step is interacting step. At this step, vehicle state is reinitialized by interacting process. The second step is elementary filters. The kinematic model extended Kármán filter and dynamic model extended Kármán filter estimate the vehicle state respectively. And third step is model priority update step. At this step, the filter determines what model is proper for driving condition. The final step is combination. At this step, using the model probability uh, in previous step, it combined the vehicle position estimates uh, from the kinematic and dynamic model extended karma filter. From now on, I'll show the simulation result. Uh, CASIM is used for the reference model. Uh, since CASIM has extre extremely high order mass model, it provides very accurate vehicle dynamic information. And from the CASIM vehicle, uh, from the CASIM vehicle model, we can obtain the vehicle parameters and cornering stiffness like this. And this table shows the each sensor's property. The uh, sensor noise assumed as Gaussian noise. And sensor model is simulated by summing the two value from the CASIM and noise. This figure shows the driving map and velocity profile for the simulation. At this region, this region represents the low speed driving condition. And this region represents the high speed driving condition. And left sides of figures uh, represent the simulation result of velocity, steering angle, and your ray sensors. And right side figure represent the tire slip angle of each, each wheel. As I already mentioned that at the low speed region, 
the tire slip angle is very small. Therefore, the kinem kinematic vehicle model is suitable for the, this region. And at the high speed, high speed condition, the tire slip angle is very large. Therefore, in this region, the dynamic model is more appropriate. And from now on, I'll show the model property of an uh, interacting multiple model filter. The model probability means the fitness of vehicle model for the driving condition. At the low speed region, the kinematic model, model probability is dominant. And at the high speed region, the dynamic model, model probability is dominant. And finally, I will show the distance error of single model filter compared to the multiple model filter. At the low speed region, the distance error of dynamic extended Kalman filter increased very ra rapidly. That's because the dynamic model is not suitable for this region. At the same reason, at the high speed condition, the kinematic model extended Kalman filters distance error increased very rapidly. By applying the interacting multiple model filter, we can reduce the distance error for, uh, compared to the single model filter. From now on, I'll show the experimental result. The test speaker is Hyundai Tucson IX. Since ESC is installed in this vehicle, the localization system can easily access the vehicle motion sensors. An algorithm was implemented in Freescale MPC5567 MCU, which is a very popular computing processor for automotive industry. And two low-cost DGPS, which has 1.5 meter RMS error, is used. And this laser scanner is not used for this project. And this is the Hanyang University where I'm from. As you can see, uh, the localization system tested in this place. As you can see in this map, there are so many buildings. Therefore, there are many places uh, GPS signal is very bad, like this place. As you can see in this picture, the road is surrounded by several buildings. Therefore, you can see the GPS RTG and multipass error. This figure shows the number of satellites in use for the GPS receiver and velocity profile and model probability of interacting multiple model filter. At this region, the GPS receiver loses the GPS signal. Therefore, it did not provide the uh, position information. And this test performed under the low speed driving condition, the kinematic model, model probability is dominant. By applying the interacting multiple model filter algorithm, we can obtain the continuous and accurate position information like this. We also uh, perform tests under uh, normal speed condition. As you can see in this figure, the vehicle speed is over than 50 km per hour. And the dynamic model, model property is dominant. Finally, I conclude my presentation. We developed a localization system based on an interacting multiple model filter that used two kinds of vehicle models. The kinematic vehicle model is suitable for low speed and low slip driving condition. The dynamic vehicle model is more appropriate for high speed and high slip condition. And the development localization system was verified by simulation and experiments. The algorithm was implemented by using the real-time embedded system with an in-vehicle network. And the simulation and experiment results show that the Estimates of vehicle states are accurate and reliable enough for the ITS application. And thank you for listening to my presentation.